Ladies and gentlemen, this is Story Oscar, and you are watching Stories from the Cape. Stories that will inspire you and the generations to come. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Today, I have a guest who has this passion in writing. He's been writing stories across the world, specifically on athletics. He is the founder of Athletics News website. The first one, and which is very independent in Africa. He has had a privilege of covering under 20 championships here in Nairobi and under 20 cross country championships in Kambala. He is also a pundit, but my director tells me that he's supposed to be a pundit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, but all it in, all depends on the, who taught in class one. At this time, allow me to introduce my guest to you. Karibu sana, my brother. Tell us your name. Yes, tell us your name and why athletics and not any other sport. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is John Vasley. That's a brand name. Yes. It's, it's a name I love. Uh, personally, my background is I'm a software developer. Yes computer scientist, that's where I come from and that's what feeds me or pays the bills for me okay. on what I do. But with athletics it's all about passion yes. and it started way back, if I may take you back in yes. 2014 mm. when I was staying in Netherlands in a small town, we called it village, yes. it's called Bohan Casper. Yes. And uh, one day I was riding the bicycle as usual yes. after taking the, my brother's kids to school. And as I was coming, I saw a runner running. Then I said, no, this one must be a Kenyan. So I followed the guy and then we started talking. Yes. His name is called Darius Tho. Yes. He still runs to this day. So we engaged. I took him to where I stayed. Then we started talking. And then it happened that uh, the person who had taken him there, he's a pilot. Mm -hmm. We call him a running pilot. He still does that to many athletes. Yes. So we went, we engaged. And that's how the story about athletes started. When you met this guy riding yeah. that uh, bicycle, did you yourself try to run? No, no, no. He yes. was running. I was riding the bicycle. You were riding the bicycle. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. running. Yeah, he was running. Yes. So I followed him up. Mm -hmm. And Netherlands is all about bicycles. That's mm -hmm. a country with bicycles. Yes. There are more bicycles than even the individuals who stay there. Okay. There are more bicycles than cars. Yes. So I followed him up, and then we started engaging. And we talked, and I took him to where I was staying because he was passing that street. Yes. So I told him this is where I stay and all that. Mm -hmm. And then I took him to now where my cousin, mm -hmm. my cousin used to to to, to run. Is a running track mm -hmm. near the village that we are staying in. Yes. So I went to introduce him there so that he can also be running from there as people run. And that's how it, it began. So it's a small story that started on the street with a bicycle. Yes. And then I happened to meet a few friends there. Then I shared with them the passion. Then they were like, no, yes. we can do something. Yes. You who are from Kenya, yes. as we are from here, yes. we can source for funds and then you can be the person on the ground. So it forced me to leave staying in Netherlands mm -hmm. to come back home to return. And to pursue your yeah, dream. Pursue the dream now and the passion that I had and the interest, the new interest that I just popped in. Mm -hmm. So I went to return, I bought land, I built 12 houses there. Yes. I employed the one, I took, uh, I wanted 10 athletes. I went there, did a trial for around 100 guys came yes. on the trial. We measured the track with the officials from Nairobi branch here. Mm -hmm. And we told them, we do, you know we're running, you hit the road, then so the time counts. You yeah. are doing all this, but you don't have any athletic background. And nothing you. complete. At what point did you realize that this is now the time that I should set up my own platform where guys can access news about athletics? You know, with, with mainstream media, it's, 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 they don't give the story. Yes. They just mention something here because they have limited time. So you'll find an athletic story running for 30 seconds, yes. then a maximum of one minute, unless it's something like a log or something of the sort. So I said, no, 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 these stories, there are beautiful stories out here. Yes. We need to tell our stories. People outside Kenya are telling the stories of about Kenyan athletes. Mm. These new plants are coming to take our content, taking them and selling it. So I said, no, I need a platform. I am a, I am an engineer, I can create my own website. Yes. Why don't I create something that will not cost me so that this one can be a mouthpiece of athletes? Mm. And 
that's how I came up. In 2016, I started this website called mm -hmm. athletics.co.ke. Yes. And it's doing marvelous job, marvelous jobs, marvelous. And guys, I want to remind you that uh, in case you want to access any information about athletics, any athlete across this globe, you'll get it on his website. You go there, you'll get all the information that you may want. So my brother, tell us, growing up in primary school, in high school, did you ever thought that you'll one day be a story writer? My life when I've been raised up, our mom wanted us everyone to be different. Yes. And that's the path I chose. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is the right path for me to do. Mm -hmm. And this is the right thing for me to do. Mm -hmm. So what I do, everything that I do mm -hmm. is unique. I come with uniqueness okay. because I don't want, I want to stand out in all that I do. The first time I entered into this field, mm -hmm. uh, because people People say this guy doesn't do anything, he just writes Makolo And then mm -hmm. I told them, this Makolo Kotio is what I understand best. Yes. Yes. So and, it, it, and, is, mm. it is all about trying so hard to be unique yes, yes, in any you given have, field. You have to stand out. If you yes. don't, yes. there's nothing you said. Content is about uniqueness. Okay. If you have a new content, you'll have people to consume. Mm. But if you have a repeated something, you know, people, people, there are people who discuss, it was a whole discussion on Facebook. With these people have been in media. They yes. didn't want me. They didn't want to hear anything about it because yes. I had come and created a platform that had been ignored for yes. many, many years. In the, in your journey of writing stories uh, mm -hmm. about athletics, yeah. which athlete that you think stands out for you currently and maybe back then? Uh, an athlete that stands for me right now. Yes. But, but back then, yes. uh, back then I used to like uh, the running style of Wilson Kipsan. Although well, now he's banned, yes. and uh, he, 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 he is one man that he had a unique running style, yes. and he fought for everything that he had. Yes. He used to fight for it, and you could see when, when he, the funny race is one day when he came to run with the Kelly in Netherlands, yes. and I was there at the start line, and then. Uh, so after the race, it was a 10 kilometer race. Yes. So <laughs> the funny thing is this race, yes. this race uh, ended. And then, so when they were asking Kipsang because he was beaten by the Kelly. Yes. <laughs> and then Kipsang said, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I had just started running and then you are telling me the race is over. <laughs> yes, he, Which means he was so fast. Yes, so, no, yes, he was so fast. Hmm. He, he ran. Becker is a good runner. He's from the track. Yes. Somebody who has, is from the track, like Elliot, yes. he, he's all, he has faster legs. He has a kick, a kick to give mm -hmm. at every end of the day. But mm -hmm. currently, the person that is standing out for me is Paris. Che -che -che. Che -che -che. Paris, your, Paris is brilliant. She's, she's standing out as one of the ideal athletes that everyone, anyone would want to emulate. Why am I saying that? Yes. Is, I've, I've had the privilege of walking and talking to many athletes, mm. many, many athletes, these prime athletes that you see. And you will find that, uh, especially those athletes who have been married, mm. and you see now this GBV running on and every now and then. Mm. And uh, one thing that makes me admire the marriage uh, lifestyle of Paris is that uh, Paris' husband has let her do what she does. Mm. Paris' mm. husband is calling her, he has given Paris enough room. Yes. Girl, you my given wife him that personal yes, yes. support yes. family support family support yes this guy knows paris when his paris is going to train mm -hmm. paris needs that time he doesn't need him around to monitor him True. when people even the press goes mm -hmm. to their place mm -hmm. they know exactly uh, the, the, the guy knows mm -hmm. this is her time i don't need to be there so that one has really made her to stand out from the rest uh for my audience at home uh this is a very good message for us that we should always be supporting our partners in whatever endeavors they do. In this field of writing, do you, do you have that specific person that you look up to, that you are like, yeah, you are emulating him or her? Uh, to be sincere, I don't. Yeah. There's no one I look up to in writing. Yes. But there are people that I admire. Mm -hmm. My writing style is just unique. As they mm -hmm. say, I write my color for you. Yes. That's the best the way I understand. Because my, max, my message should be home. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm looking at, the, you know, I have two audiences. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually have three audiences, if I may put it per se. Mm -hmm. Because I have a, 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 an audience of Kiswahili. Mm -hmm. I have an audience of English people. Yes. Now, 
the house ones are Kenyans, yes. both Kiswahili and, 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 and English, yes. then I have an international audience. Yes. So I want to compare these three audiences so that I can get, I can give out the best mm. out of it. So for me, is is anything I'm doing is mine because I have no journalistic skills, skills background or anything. Yes. I have nothing complete. Nobody has ever put me down to teach me how to write. Yes. Nobody. I just flow my way. But, but there are those people who encourage you, this is how you should write. Yes. I have a friend, Kennedy Apo, who has been on my neck, you know, yes, yes, and yes. He, he does good things. Yes. So there are those who guide, you know, this is this one you could have done like this, you could have done like this. Mm -hmm. But I tell them, thank you very much, I will improve on that, yes. but this is how I, I, I see I should do. Okay. So, I'm just a man, I'm my own man, I'm a, I'm a self-made, if I'm <laughs> self -made. It there. Which means you can still, you can still do this thing on your own. You can, you can. Bearing in mind can. that you remain focused yes, 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 and yes. see what you exactly need. Yes, 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 yes. Now, to the young writers, to the guys who, who want to, to do uh, something of what you are doing, mm. which message do you have for them? Patience, always patience. Patience, patience. Yes. I started writing this blog in 2016. Yes. I've used on this blog like a million shillings on yes. this website. Mm. So the investment, the people you pay, sometimes you don't, you are not here, you need a story, sometimes you need even a photo, you know? Yes. So it's an investment you have to put in. Mm. So it will take time, don't rush it, because my website is organic, I don't sponsor anything. Yes. I don't sponsor any story. Yes. My story is just my story. Yes. And I have my statistics that if somebody wants I give you my statistics because they are there. Mm. I do statistics every now and then because if you go to my Facebook page right now, mm. people that have reached is a million two hundred thousand. Mm. So for the month, that is counting for the month. Yes. If you go to months, because I have like three or four statistics that I use, so it bases me or puts me somewhere. I know this is the kind of number that I'm doing. Yes. In a day, I'm doing between sixteen to twenty-one thousand readers for people who visit. Uh, the store you will find in between you'll find like nine eight thousand unique mm -hmm. those are people who have just come in new visitors so for me see ringy but the yes. audience i have it yes and i say i will not go outside there to look for any advertisement yes. i will not go outside there to look for anyone to advertise on my they will look for me when yes. that time comes so and with that time you know when it comes it is me now dictating the pricing mm -hmm. but when i go out right now it means that they will detect what I want because it's like I'm going to beg. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to go on that angle. I want them to come so that I dictate because it is mine. Yes. Yes. Apart from athletics, yeah. which other sport do you think you have interest in? Uh, football. I've played to the highest level of football in this country. Really? Um, I've played to Super League. Yes. Uh, back then. For which sports, team? So, yeah, sugar. Aye, uh, my team, my home yeah, team. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I used to play, but I didn't play long because mm -hmm. they, I, I broke my leg. Polet. So I had to quit and leave. Mm -hmm. uh, I played for like three months, but I played in school to the highest. Me, my secondary, which is self sponsored, the total mm -hmm. sports. Okay. Uh, so, football for me, my legs, they paid for me. From primary school, mm -hmm. uh, I used to play. So, it's just sponsorship after sponsorship after sponsorship, mm -hmm. and then uh, I cleared. And then even before I cleared where I was in Form 4, I was taken to Zoya. Mm. And then I did, I played around three games, but luckily the fourth one I was, my leg was broken. Okay. Time. So which means if the, your leg could have not uh, broken down, you could, have, uh, you could still be playing football? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could be still playing football. Mm. I don't know if age could have allowed, mm. but I could have played to the highest level because mm. I'm a fan of Manchester, mm -hmm. and I've always wanted to, 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 to play in such a team. Wonderful. And my passion was just to play for one team, Manchester, mm -hmm. if I go international. So if I don't meet those qualifications, then I better remain home. Uh, so, yeah. so which means that I can still, um, uh, you can still assist in one way or another in terms of coaching? Not really. Mm -hmm. uh, Athletics-wise, yes, because mm -hmm. I have. I have the gist, I have the know-how, mm. I have the technique and the knowledge because when you love something, you do it passionately. Mm. And I follow coaches on what I do. I have one coach who is called Coach Ben of Ben mm. He's passionate, somebody who went to school to study. You know, he went even in his old age to study. Yes. He did, uh, what is it called, Visio, Visio what? Something science. Yes. And he understands the game. So he uses both theory 
yes. and applied and practical. Yes. He's good at what he does. Okay. He's a short distance coach. He coaches uh, the, the Manangois, you have seen the Timothy Chariot, you see. Yes. Uh, he has get, uh, he has good, good, good runners. Mm. Those are short distance runners. Mm. And I, I learn a lot from him. I have freely learned a lot from that man. Even Kina Douglas, like all those are my people. Mm. Even the, the athletics, the presence are a personal friend to me because of what we share. When we sit down, we share, we talk mm. content. Mm. We talk things that can help each other. Okay. So that's how how knowledgeable or how I pick things and put them together and do better. Away from sports, yeah. what do you do? Yes. I love traveling yes. and then I love also holidaying. I'm a person, you know, for us to work hard people, you don't have time for, 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 for a leave. Yes. So I usually take one, 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 one leave. Yes. That is from December. I lock myself away from the world mm -hmm. and just sit with my family. Wonderful. And uh, it's always good to have that time where you don't have a mobile phone, you don't have anything. Yes. If anyone looks at you at that time, yeah, you yes. have completely shut down. So called a shutdown mode. Yes. So from around 20th December to January 5th, mm. I'm sure on a shutdown mode. You'll yes. never find me anywhere. Time for your family. Uh, because I know I can track you, you cannot track me. What are your future plans? My future plans is one, I need to have one of the biggest races in yeah. East Africa mm. or in Africa. Mm. I want to have a, a race like a diamond. That's my passion. I've given myself two years mm. because it means money. Mm. The minimum I can have to host a race is 10 million. Mm. And I'm praying that in two years I will have raised my own money, my own resources, because I want to own this thing and I want to run it in a professional way. Yes. I want to run it like a diamond league because my prayer is that one day we we'll have a series in Kenya, mm -hmm. a diamond league series because we have been blessed with athletes mm -hmm. who are doing wonderful, wondrous and marvelous work outside there. They are representing Kenya in a good way. So I want to have a race that I will invite you Uganda. My startup is Uganda, Ethiopia and Kenya mm -hmm. between those three countries competition as we wait for others to come. So I will have my own race, one that is a, a short that if you come into that track race, yes. then two. Uh, I have a registered a race which I'll be in it doing uh, in a year or two or so. Yes. But this one is for 10 and 21 kilometers. So those are my long term dreams. Okay. And I want to hold on to them and run away with them. Yeah. We wish you all the best, my Thank brother. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we've had for you today. We were so much privileged to have John, the writer, and the the pioneer of that website that offers you the athletic, all the athletic news across the globe. With, with, with that, I would like to say thank you so much and remember to subscribe.